Hey Randy, after watching your previous video, I decided to check out the Animal Crossing sets on LEGO Ideas. I was surprised to find that there weren't that many. With the overwhelming popularity of the game, I'd have thought there would be dozens of takes on Nook's Cranny, but we don't have many options to choose from on LEGO Ideas. To start with, there's this Build Your Own Island set, which is a cool concept, but not sure if it works well for a LEGO Ideas project. Also, the scale sort of ruins it. However, this does make me think of the great potential for an Animal Crossing LEGO theme, similar to the Minecraft one, where many different key elements could be released as sets for you to piece together as you see fit. Then we have the Able Sisters one, which doesn't really have much going on. I find it interesting though because they put it near the beach and included some bamboo. While the beach and bamboo are parts of Animal Crossing, they aren't as iconic as grass and regular trees, so that seemed like a peculiar choice here. I actually really like this tent set, but I can see it not being a great fit for a LEGO Ideas set because, as you mentioned, people aren't in a tent long in Animal Crossing. Well, normal people aren't anyway. Personally, I'd like to have a set like this for that reason, though. I can never go back to the simple days of Akuna Island when all I had was a tent and endless potential. So a little LEGO set would be a nice reminder of simpler times. I think this one is probably my favorite, called Animal Crossing New Horizons Paradise. It very much reminds me of one of my favorite Minecraft sets, The First Night, since it's just a basic beginner life in the Animal Crossing world. I also like sets like this featuring a peaceful and remote home life, like the Minecraft set, or the aforementioned tent one, or the Lakeside Lodge set we both love. The only thing really missing is a villager minifigure. Then there's the airport, which I think you said was your favorite. I think it certainly feels like the most Lego ideas -y set of the bunch. It's also showcasing a new feature of New Horizons specifically, and the way it's designed makes it look more like a display piece for adult fans than a kid's plaything, which tends to be the direction for LEGO Ideas. My only complaint would be that it's a bit plain, ultimately. Just an exact replica of the actual airport in the game. Well, maybe not exact. My airport's yellow, after all. So they might have to come out with different color versions to make this really work. This isn't a LEGO Ideas submission, but I thought it was a really cool MOC by LEGO Pie Guy that captured the spirit of Animal Crossing well. It's certainly too rough around the edges for a LEGO Ideas set, but it's a really cool display that probably has the best potential for a winning Animal Crossing set. I also really like this. It does a great job of looking very much like Animal Crossing, even with the Brickhead style characters. Speaking of Brickheads, there's a Tom Nook Brickhead set on LEGO Ideas. Personally, I'm not a fan of Brickheads in general, but a line of Animal Crossing brickheads would probably be a smart move for LEGO. Which brings me to my main point. Overall, my feeling is that Animal Crossing isn't a good fit for LEGO ideas. Instead, it should really be a theme of its own, like the Minecraft theme, perhaps supplemented with a brickheads line as well. I'd also really like to see minifigures. Only a few of the LEGO ideas sets included Animal Crossing minifigures, and none of them really got it right but I imagine LEGO could figure out a good way to do it. It would be great for an ongoing collectible series too, since you'd have over 400 minifigures to make. Will it happen? Who knows? Nintendo is opening up to LEGO, and there's probably no better fit than Animal Crossing, but perhaps it's too similar to Minecraft. I think there's a lot of opportunity though, so maybe LEGO and Nintendo will figure something out. I just really want a LEGO fossil piece. See you soon.